And so this is also a time for families to enhance their relationship mm -hmm. because the world was moving so fast. Mm. This has slowed us down a little to start also recognizing what are the important things in life. So let the children know that they are the most important thing Amen. at this time. And um, that's, that's the way I believe it should go. Well, it's time for families to spend time together, I guess. That's and, right. And, and also to demonstrate to the kids and, you know, to, to everyone in the home that God is still sitting on the throne. Yes. That he's unshaken, that uh, nothing, like you said, has caught him by surprise. That's right. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Reverend, thank you. Uh, there's been questions around uh, the economy the state mm. of the economy uh, in Kenya today and indeed around the world. Yeah. This uh, pandemic has brought uh, you know, the world almost to a, to a screeching halt when you look yes. at the, uh, the Dow Jones, when you look at uh, Nasdaq. I mean, everything, everyone's just talking about how the economy is dropping. As a man of God and also as a businessman, what do you think is happening as far as the economy is concerned? I mean, there's no, you know, Jesus, <laughs> gave an illustration and he said that there are things that you don't even need to be a prophet to understand. Yeah. There's no doubt the world economy is about to go through probably one of its worst um, seasons yeah. and times. Yeah. So we must be prepared. Uh, the Bible guides us. The Bible guides us. This is why I love the Word of God because nothing on earth surprises the Word of God. Exactly. In the beginning exactly. was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word is God. Nothing mm. was made that was made and nothing was made that was not, was not made. Mm. And the Bible says that in Christ was the life mm. and this life was the light of men. Yes. And that light uh, came into the darkness and the darkness did not comprehend mm. that light. Mm. The world is in darkness. Mm. There's a light that must shine. For light to shine, there must be a stage that is set <laughs> for that light to Absolutely. penetrate. So I Absolutely. think the world stage has been set for children of the kingdom mm -hmm. to come out in wisdom, in understanding, and in knowledge. And the Bible says everything that was written was written a four time for our benefit, yes, yes, for yes. our foreknowledge. So, so in the time of Egypt, mm. there was an economic crisis, mm. but God raised a Joseph mm. for such a time as that. In the time of Babylon, there were many times of crisis, mm. but God raised a Daniel for such a time as Amen. that. Amen. And the world right now needs more Josephs and more Daniels, mm. more Esthers, more Deborahs mm. than ever before. So what we must do is say, fine, God, this hasn't caught you by surprise. Mm. What must we do? Mm. Information from God can only come from a place of intimacy. That's right. So while everybody is running, we have to hide back into the secret place and ask God, what must we do? Mm. And the rema we must believe for is an action word Amen. to say, from here, here are the very key things we're going to go through. That's right. The world will go through an economic shakeup. Yes, yes. The world go, will go through a superpower shakeup. Yes. It may be that Africa is now being positioned Amen to that. for the largest manufacturing, the largest food centers across the world. Mm. It's time for Africa to get its act together to start supplying the world with solutions. And so God is positioning his children across the world to not be anxious yes. but to hear that in this time yes. what we must do is position ourselves Amen. for his light to shine in the darkness Amen. and then the world will know that surely don't god is god amen amen you know i i, I truly believe that it's africa's time yeah and, and obviously the way god has done things in the past and and even today uh is not the way we we hope for things to play out. But like you said earlier, he's setting a stage. Yeah. And, and I believe, you know, it's Africa's time and we're That's just right. getting ready to, to be ushered into this place. You know, I was just thinking the other day uh, that when you, when you look through the map and, you know, CNN and all these channels were showing uh, where Corona has hit, yeah. Africa was like almost the only other continent that's not been touched by this. And, and I started to think to myself, what will happen to the world's wealthiest? They'll be looking in into the same image and asking themselves, how come Africa has not been affected? Mm. Do you think it's time that the world's resources come back to Africa? Yeah. Jesus, Jesus said in the word, take heed that your light be not darkness, because if it be darkness, then how gross is that darkness? Mm. The world believes they're very small. And there's no question that there are very intelligent people in the world. Yes. They have a light. Yes. We also have a light. Yes. 
for kings to come to your rising, for yeah. kings to come to your light, there has to be light you carry that is brighter than the king's light. Correct. Because kings also have a light. Correct. They have a presence. When you stand before a king, it's a real king. You it's, can sense a presence. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. yeah. You told me once about visiting the president of the United States yes. and he came down the stairs yes. and you just were in awe because you absolutely. felt something. Absolutely. They carry a light, mm. but they'll only come to a light that's brighter than theirs. That's right. So to that dawn of our light, there must be a wisdom and an understanding that is greater than the one of the world. Correct. And so for us to give solutions, we must be working. Wow. We must wow. get to work, prepare ourselves to become the light for kings to come to our light. They won't come because we shouted amen wow. at church or wow. that's okay, I'm not against it. Yes. It's okay for us to get excited, to have our rallying calls, yes. but we must get to a place where our work begins. Well said. We must have the best web designers. We must have the best next phone ideas. Yes. We must have the best creatives. We must have yes. the best music. Yes. Uh, you're seeing people dancing to African music now, wow. wanting to do collabs with Africans people wanting to participate in the light of Africa. So what the church must do, we must position ourselves in a place of influence. Yes. Let me tell you, Pastor Don, to be wise and not have influence is useless. Wow, say that again. To be wise and not have influence is useless. There was a wise man in the Bible that saved an entire city. Wise, poor man. And here I'm not just about materialism. Yes. I'm talking about influence. Yes. The ability to determine how things will shift in yes. a nation yes. is important. Wow. For Daniel to do what he could do, he needed influence. That's right. For That's Joseph right. to do what he could do, he needed to have the king's ear. So we can't be in a position where no king can listen to us. Wow. We must understand we have to be positioned in a place of influence to determine how agricultural policies will be set. Correct. To determine how entertainment policies will be set. We must have our people in positions of power, wow. in positions of influence. So, so that we're not just trying to be wise in a building on a Sunday morning. We actually have people that have been equipped. The saints have been equipped for the works of ministry. Wow. It's the people that have to be positioned. Daniel was not a pastor and neither was Joseph. They were members of a church wow. called the House of Jacob. Wow. <laughs> and, 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 and we have to understand they came from the influence of prophets like Ezra. So let's be clear around how we want to position ourselves to be effective in the marketplace. Well, there you have it. Position yourself. Get ready. The flood is coming. God's opening this window of opportunity. I pray that you'll be ready. Amen. God bless you.